Hi everyone, I'm Anthony Devine, the Educational Technologist at Netzeberg Elementary School. And I'm here to talk about creating videos with Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Adobe Creative Cloud Express is available through ClassLink to Dodea students and staff members. I'd like to point out that while I used WeVideo to capture the screen with a lot of the videos you're about to see, I used Adobe Creative Cloud Express to add my voiceover, background music, and the transitions that you see throughout this video. So let's get started with Adobe Creative Cloud Express. You'll start out by logging in to ClassLink. Here I'm logging in with a student account so you can see their view. They access Adobe in edgy rostered apps and you'll see the Adobe Creative Cloud Express logo. I've had students skip this step and then sign in with their school Google account. They'll click on login with a school account and then log in with Google. When people log in for the first time, there might be a lot of pop-ups for guides. We're closing those for now. There's a lot we can do with Adobe Creative Cloud, but for now, we're just gonna click on the plus symbol and click on video. I've always had students skip and start from scratch in order to get to the edit screen. And now we see the editing side of the video editor. We can add some text to this first slide. And if we'd like additional slides, we can click on the plus icon to get more. If we'd like to add a photo, we can click on the photo icon and find free photos. In addition to the vast video library, there are also thousands and thousands of icons that video creators can use to help communicate their ideas. I'd like to draw your attention to some of these items on the top. People can change the theme, they can resize their video, change the background music, but I want to point out layout. You have a few options for changing the layout of each slide. With this layout, I can add text on one side of my slide and an icon on the other. And if I like that, I can duplicate the entire slide and continue with my idea. I can do a simple edit, like swap um, the orientation of the slides so that I can have a little bit more variety. You can also add um, video to these slides. It has to be a video that you've already created and downloaded, but you can upload a video, which is what I've done with this video. So those are the main moves you'll make when adding content to these slides. Remember, you can add uh, many slides. It's suggested that you keep them at about 25 or less. You want to keep this short. I want to talk about the theme options. When you change a theme, it changes the entire video. And then if you're curious about what effect that has on your different slides, you can preview and see what your video looks like with the changes you've made to the theme. If one theme doesn't quite work for you, you can close the window and try another one and preview again. You also have the option of resizing your video. You can have it widescreen or square, like if you wanted to post to Instagram, but let's keep it widescreen. There are several music options. Each of these gets automatically added to the background of your video and they get applied to the whole theme. Now that we have a few slides ready, creators can record their voice on each slide. And they'll do that by clicking on the microphone icon. If they get a pop-up asking for permission, be sure they allow it to use their microphone. And then click and hold the microphone icon to record. People will record as many times as they like. Every recording replaces the previous recording and they can record audio slide by slide giving people many opportunities to correct mistakes or make sure that they're sounding exactly the way they want to sound on their video. You can record a chunk of audio for each slide. Creators can also take a photo to add to a slide. They'll click take photo, allow um, this service to use the camera, and they'll click on the camera icon and there'll be a countdown for a pose. You can confirm the photo and that will get added to your slide. 
So it's a little different from a tool like Flipgrid, but we can still have people adding personalized photos to their presentations. Another feature of the video editor is that as creators add icons or images that require accreditation, that gets automatically added on the last slide. Notice I've already got um, a credit for the icon that I added earlier. Now I'd like to talk about sharing. You have a few sharing options when you're ready to share. People can publish, um, they can add it to their drive. I like the publish option. When publishing, you'll give the video a title. And the author can add their name. And then they'll choose a category. And then they will be creating a link. They can decide to make the author public or private, but creating the link is what puts it all together. And this takes a while, especially if it's a long video. The amount of time that it takes to create a published link depends on how long the video is and how complex it is. But once the video is finally published, the creator ends up with a URL to share their video. Teachers can collect these with a Google form or email, um, and they can even embed those on a website if they'd like. But let's say this is a long video project and I don't finish it all in one sitting. I need to leave and come back to it. Well, let's say you're logged out of the video editor and you're back on the home screen. Where is my cool video? My tab is gone, I'm not sure where to find it. It's easy to find. You'll just click on projects and you'll see the most recently edited videos. People can click on their previous project and it'll bring back up the edit side of the video. And then creators will be able to continue where they left off. Everything gets saved. I'd love to point out that Adobe Creative Cloud Express has so many amazing features. The video editing that I just showed you is a small part of the story. There are poster templates, flyers, graphic organizers, uh, infographics. There is a lot to explore with this tool and video editing is just one of them. So come back and explore. Creating beautiful videos is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Adobe Creative Cloud. There are so many ways to communicate with technology in beautiful ways using this tool, and we should be definitely trying to make the most of it. Let's get people creating, let's create ourselves, and let's get students creating. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Have fun exploring Adobe Creative Cloud Express.